Hi there, I'm Beetlejuice from Reddit's Wicked Edge, and welcome to the end of uh, No Shave November, in my case, or Movember, depending on what you've been up to. Uh, this is going to be something of a disappointment for those of you who tuned in expecting me to do a full knockdown on this. Um, it's been a long month. My wife has been running from me like a cat faced off with a spray bottle, but uh, based on the fact that the temperature went down to a glorious mighty minus 32 Celsius the other morning, uh, and I do some work outside, I thought I might try and work out a proper beard this winter. Uh, at least till the end of December. So, if you are interested in seeing me hack the whole thing off, uh, stay tuned throughout my videos, and uh, it's got to come off sometime. So, now, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to speak to what some people have asked from time to time, and that's how do you maintain a beard? Uh, that's a full proper beard. I normally run a Van Dyke or a goatee, depending on uh, how your nomenclature goes. But uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using a straight razor. It's a little different with a double edge, but not horribly so. Um, you can plow through a lot faster with a uh, straight razor. I'm just uh, working up some uh, Colonel Conk lather here, which is a little dry, so adding a bit more water than this. I'm uh, just going to take down the neck for now. It's been a fun month. I've been called everything from uh, dude you look homeless to um, you make enough that you could probably afford a razor. It's there's been <laughs> there's been some teasing. Uh, on a more uh, sober note, however, uh, my contributions to some male-centric charities have been put in. If you were participating in November or No Shave November, I hope you did similar. So, what I'm doing right now is just adding in some water. Again, this is a little showboating. This is what you can do with a straight razor. It's not necessarily recommended. I'm just out of the shower, so this makes this more pliable and easier to cut. Really, this should be trimmed down, but straight razors don't jam up, so. That's something I learned from last time. Your first pass of lather needs to be worked in to the base of the beard. That's why I wound up, uh, I suspect, bleeding on the uh, beginning of the month. It was, it was essentially, I thought I'd gotten the lather all the way down, and in fact it was virtually shaving dry at the base. And uh, that's bad. So I'm just massaging that in. This also helps to get the hairs into the matrix of the foam so that they stand a little better. Because one of the things about uh, proper shaving leather is that unlike your uh, over-the-counter canned foam, this is actually designed to support the hairs and keep them somewhat vertical. And just like if you were shaving normally, you want to work against the grain your final pass because you're trying to get them to come up off the skin. It's a little more pronounced with uh, a uh, grown out beard, but uh, the process remains the same. So this is my uh, Godak razor and oh, this feels weird after a month of not doing it. Hmm. Yeah, 
You know, some people have commented in the past, this sounds like it's tearing. It's not. And just to prove the point, no hand. Notice you don't see the skin pulling, snapping back and away. It's a talkative razor. Because the blade is thin, and for those of you who are used to watching my shaving videos, you're probably yelling at me right now because I just hit a couple of areas without lather. You're right. Not only is it a support system for the hair, it's uh, lubrication. Without lubrication, you turn your face into hamburger. Unless that was the look you were going for. So. I didn't. Hmm. No, I think it just cut a hair. I felt like I cut myself. Now, for those of you who are new to straight, no, I did get myself. One thing to remember when you're first starting, and apparently as long as you've been doing it, you have to keep it in mind too. Step the pencil to kill the bleeder. Mm, persistent bugger. Um, The slightest motion, counter to the blade coming down. <laughs> Nutshell, do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what I was saying. When you're first starting out, these long, broad, sweeping shots that you see me doing, not necessary. Well, no helmet should be happy at least. God, I was more prepared than this. Here, see what I've done for the line. Yeah, that needs a bit of work. I'm getting a stop cutting yourself from no helmet on the forum when I get back, I'm sure. So, let's see if I can get this level up a bit.
better. And final pass. That's a small weeper, by the way. Evolve over the next little while, but essentially, there you go. Stunch that last little weeper. Finish up with a little bit of Allen Block. Allen Block is roughly the same thing as a styptic pencil. It's more concentrated, and my styptic pencil is actually uh, titanium dioxide as well. But uh, it uses it's uh, it's an astringent. It stops minor bleeders, very minor bleeders. Bay Rum, now and mix if you uh, do a search for Bay Rum and Beetlejuice, you'll uh, on Reddit's Wicked Edge you'll find that. And there you go, that's as pretty as I'm going to get for a bit. And not a bad line. Taper that, but it'll do for a start. And there you go. Our beards, if uh, you get cross linked to this, welcome. Just remember, straight razors aren't just for uh, the clean shaven. We need to keep things tidy as well. So there you go. And uh, I'll be back, I'll be back throughout the uh, next month or so and uh, show you a few other techniques for keeping things tidy with the beard. And until uh, next time, uh, congrats on the end of No Shave November, November, whatever you're doing. And uh, I'm Beetlejuice for Reddit's Wicked Edge. Keep them sharp. Sure.